Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? I'm ready for this. Who should be the big bad wolf? Yes. Who should be Granny? All right. And that means I am the narrator. Hey, thanks. And now, on with the show. Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Little Red Riding Hood, as directed by you. Once upon a time, there's a little girl whose name was... Little Green Pirate Hat. Arr! I be Little Green Pirate Hat. Well, shiver me timbers, a pirate. Little Green Pirate Hat headed through the forest full of... Skyscrapers. Arr! What be these strange looking ships? She looked up at the sky and it was... A cloudy day. There be stormy seas ahead, mateys. Raise the tiny umbrella. Little Green Pirate Hat was... Grooving to Granny's house. I love to dance a good jig, me hearties. Along the way, she came across a wolf. Hello, little friend. What brings you to my neck of the woods on this cloudy, dreary day? Ahoy there, Scallywag. I be having a surprise for me granny. Ooh, a surprise? And what kind of surprise do you have in your... Treasure chest. A book of me favorite bedtime stories. I want granny to read one to me. The wolf knew right then and there that he wanted that surprise for himself, so he decided to set a trap at Granny's house. I was just wondering, uh, where does your Granny live? Arr, she be living in that cottage next door to the Muffin Man, down in Drury Lane. I'm on me way there now, so I says to you, toodaloo! And with that, Little Green Pirate Hat went off to Granny's house. But the Big Bad Wolf knew a shortcut and planned to get there first. Moments later, Granny heard a knock at her door. Who is it? Hi, Granny. It's me. I want to show you how I can rub my head and pat my tummy at the same time. Let me in. Ooh, it's my granddaughter, though she is a little early. Coming, dear! But when Granny opened the door, it wasn't her granddaughter at all. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh no, it's the big bad wolf! Ah! The wolf grabbed Granny, and what dastardly deed did he do? He wrapped her in a present, with a bow! Let's hope someone opens her up soon! With Granny out of the way, it was time for the wolf to put his plan into action. He dressed up as Granny, and waited for Little Green Pirate Hat to arrive. But he didn't have to wait long. The doorbell rang. The door's open! <clears throat> the door's open! Let yourself in! Well, shiver me timbers, Granny. You look great. But when Little Green Pirate Hat got near her Granny, she noticed something weird. Well, Granny, I'll be bamboozled. Your eyes are like two giant gold doubloons. <laughs> All the better to see you with, dearie. And, uh, Granny, your ears appear to be of an unusually large size. All the better to hear you with, dearie. Arr! 
here. And if I may be so bold, Granny, your teeth look like the jaws of a great white shark. All the better to eat you with, dearie. Well, I'll be a sea cucumber. You aren't me, Granny. You'll be a lily lifford wolf. Little Green Pirate Hat started to... run as fast as she could to escape the wolf. Way anchor and hoist the mainsail, mateys. We're under attack. Suddenly, Granny burst out of the present, and she had transformed into her secret identity. A superhero? Listen up, Big Bad. I fight for truth, justice, and stuff like that. You don't scare me. I want that surprise. The wolf looked around and grabbed the first thing he could find. Let's see if you can duck this. Aha! Ah! This granny is too tough for me. I'm out of here. Little Green Pirate Hat couldn't believe it. Her granny was a hero. Arr! You made that wolf abandon ship. Three cheers for me, Granny! So with the wolf gone, Little Green Pirate Hat and Granny finally had time to enjoy the surprise. Let's go outside and I'll read your favorite story to you under the stars. And the moral of this story is, don't mess with Grannies. The end.